This is question number five. It says solve in part a for one mark, two to the power of y is equal to eight. I'm simply going to write eight as a power of two. So we'll have two to the power of y is equal to two to the power of three. Therefore, from this, we can see now that y will be equal to three. So one mark for part a. In part b for four marks, we're asked to solve two to the x multiplied by four to the x plus one is equal to eight. Lots of different approaches here. I'm simply going to write all of these as powers of two. So we'll have two to the power of x multiplied by two squared to the power of x plus one is equal to two to the power of three. Using the rules of indices here, we've got two to the power of x multiplied by, and now I need to multiply these powers, we're going to have two to the power of 2x plus 2, and that's equal to 2 to the power of 3. I have the same bases, so when multiplying, I can add the powers. 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. I've got the same bases, therefore the powers must be the same. So I can say 3x plus 2 is equal to 3. If I subtract 2 from both sides and divide by 3, we can see that x will be equal now to 1 over 3. So x is a third and there are 4 marks for part b. Lots of different approaches. You could have written all of these as powers of 4 or, if you like, powers of 8. It's entirely up to you. I think it's straightforward working with a base of 2, but again, it's your choice for the 4 marks.